Okay, welcome to my channel where you will learn all about photography. Okay, um, please like and subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you can always get an alert whenever I post a new video. So in this video, I want to teach you how to do um, basic retouching in Capture One. Very simple. So the first thing you want to do um, is to fix the exposure of this particular image. Okay, so to do that, um, I would not want to do it on the background layer okay so stop fixing um your image in capture one on the background layer okay um open a layer for everything you want to do okay so this is how to use layers and this is how it works when it, when we're talking about retouching in capture one so click the plus button here um which will create a new layer any adjustment layer you can click it to rename it okay um let's say skin tone or whatever you can remember as we're welcome so press enter on your keyboard and okay so this layer is what we will use to retouch the skin okay because i don't want to touch the background i want to leave it as it is there's nothing wrong with the background i just want to retouch the skin okay so the next thing you want to do is to brush a mask over the skin. By brushing the mask over the skin, we are going to separate the skin from the background. Okay, so that we can work on the, on the skin independently. We can, on, we can work on the skin separately from the background. Okay, so to do that, press B on your keyboard or select the draw mask up here. This, the draw mask tool. Okay. And then start brushing on the skin of your model. So press and hold M on your keyboard to see the mask you are drawing on your model. After brushing your mask, um, the next thing you want to do is to correct the mask. Okay, so press E on your keyboard or select the erase mask tool, which is up here. Okay, and then zoom in to places where you want to erase. Okay, for example, I want to erase this part, this spill off I have here. Okay, and that's how I'm going to erase every spill off of the mask. Okay, after correcting the mask, the next thing you want to do is to erase the eyes and the lips because you don't want the um, adjustment we want to do on the skin tone to affect the eyes and the lips. So um, use your erase mask tool to erase the eyes and the lips. After brushing over the skin, removing the eyes and the lips, okay, the reason I did not brush over the palm is because I don't want the, the palm to be looking weird, or, you know, um, the color of the palm is not the same with the color of the skin, and that's why I have not touched it now. If there's a need to touch it after the whole thing, you will know and you will know what to do, okay. And so, now that we have been able to brush a mask over the whole skin, and um, removing the lips and the... Uh, the eyes the next thing the next thing you want to do is to fix the edges of your mask if there's a need for that okay so right click on your on your skin tone layer where you have um, um drawn the mask and then go to feather mask or refine mask okay so i prefer to use refine mask for the edges of my mask okay it softens the edges and makes it um more accurate okay and then you can move this slider to what works for you, but at, the, at this point, I think this 19 works for me, so I'll just press apply. Okay, so press M to remove the mask. Now you can work on the skin on a different layer, which is the layer we have opened here because of the mask we have brushed on it. Okay, so to color grade the skin tone for it to look better, um, let us fix the exposure of the skin first. So go to exposure panel, um, bring down the highlights, okay. Now, whatever we do on this particular layer, we only affect the skin. It will not affect the background, the eyes and the lips. Okay. So bring up the shadow. Increase the shadow. Um, reduce the black a bit. Okay. So these are before. 
this is our after you can see that the background is not affected just the skin now the skin is properly exposed do we have a white balance problem no so we don't need to touch the white balance of this particular picture so the next thing you want to do is go to your color balance to fix the skin tone of this model to color grade it so let's start with our highlight okay highlight is usually um i usually take it towards yellow so you will shift it from here to yellow okay so watch the picture and do not do it too much okay and i, I always increase the brightness of my highlight because the highlight is supposed to be bright okay and then go to my mid tone and increase it towards shift it towards red okay and i decrease the brightness okay not too much okay this is good enough for me and then um i don't always touch my shadow and if i have to touch my shadow i will prefer to move it towards red although if this person is a dark skinned person i would have moved this move this um towards blue but because this person because this this model is a fair skinned person i will leave it at this red okay just a little red i will not touch the brightness then lastly i will touch the master drag it towards blue okay i like the, the red color that it adds to the whole image so not too much okay and then lastly after after fixing my color balance with the setting i have used highlights to yellow and i increase the brightness mid tone to red decrease the brightness master to blue okay next thing is to go to skin tone under color editor select the color picker select the skin and then increase the saturation to what works for me okay if i need to increase the lightness if there's no need i'll just leave it as it is then the uniformity just for just to even the skin tone for the skin tones to match a bit you can touch this a little bit now we are done this is the before and this is what we have now very very good skin tone before and after okay, so now let us touch the palm is looking very very different from the other part of the body so go back to your skin tone layer press b which is for your mask okay and then draw mask on the palm okay you can feather the mask blend the only part of the hand okay and look at how good it is now press apply and we are good so this is our before and this is now after before after before and after this skin tone is better now that we have done our color grading in capture one using the color balance tool